Good morning, YouTube. It's Techno Viking 23. It is 4 a.m. on the East Coast, so you know what that means. Our favorite tentacle faced friend is in the tower. Zur is here, and he's over by the Vanguard Mentors. Take a look at what he's got this week for the Titans Mark 44 Standicides. Uh, not really a good exotic for Titans unless you do a lot of PvP. This is uh, good for your uh, shoulder charge. The Hunter, we have the Radiant Dance Machines, which uh, they look okay. Not a, not a great exotic either. There's a lot better Hunter exotics than these. And then Starfire Protocol for the Warlocks. This is a decent exotic uh, if you're a Warlock, if you still don't have any exotics that you want to pick up. It's not the best for them. It's basically their version of the Armentarium, but it is worth picking up. And here we go. Oh my god, the No Land Beyond. This is by far the worst exotic weapon in the game, in my opinion. Uh, it's a primary slot for a sniper. More on that later. Uh, he's got the exotic shard, and finally some exotic engrams for the helmet. Uh, knucklehead radar, symbiote, helmet of inmost light, crest of Alpalufi, light beyond nemesis, sunbreakers, bad juju, invective, universal remote, thunderlord, Yalahorn and Truth if you need to upgrade any of your current exotics. And he's got some shotgun telemetry, machine gun telemetry, and rocket launcher telemetry. And plasma drive and emerald coil for your sparrow. Um, thankfully, nothing good this week, so I can spend my coins on my exotic bounty parts that I need uh, for bad juju and for super good advice. And I think I'll pick up a couple engrams. I've got a ton of moats. Probably be able to get three of these by the end of the weekend. I'm going to go ahead and pick up two of these in the hopes that I can get the Helm of Saint 14, which is the one Titan exotic helmet I really, really want uh, for my Defender class. I may be here. So let's take these can. over to Master Raul. Let's see what we get. But overall, guys, this is a pretty bad week for Zura, especially after last week when he had the Icebreaker and some uh, really good armor. Yeah, last week was probably one of his best weeks of the of the uh, the game so far. And this week is not good. Not good at all. He's definitely trolling trolling us this week. First, we're going to stop up here at the Gunsmith. Guardian. And pick up another part. This is for the Bad Juju uh, Pulse Rifle. And this is going to go to the next part, which is to defeat Guardians in the Crucible. Bus safe. That's going to require 10,000 points from killing uh, Guardians in any game mode in the Crucible. That's uh, pretty quick and easy last stage of the bounty there. All right, let's see what these exotic engrams turn into. Please give me Helm of Saint-14, please. Right, here we go. Uh, the Arachnid. That's a Hunter Helm. It's not very good. I will probably shard that. And Apotheosis Veil. Uh, that's actually a halfway decent Warlock Helm. I'll probably hang on to that because my Warlock does need a new helmet. Um, he's got the old Light Beyond Nemesis, so that'll... That'll be helpful for him. We can take a look at these. But yeah, no helm of state 14, so hopefully I can grab some more boats by the end of the weekend and and get another Titan helmet. Uh, there's my Vanquisher. At least that, you know, can kind of ease the pain from Zur this week, having the Vanquisher. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you thought about Zur, and uh, we'll see you next time. 12 toe.